चंद्र चंद्रगुप्ता मौर्य ऑफ द मौर्य एम्पायर इन एंशियंट इंडिया बिल्ट हिज हाईवे अलोंग दिस एंशियंट राउट कॉल्ड उत्तर पथा इन दर्ड सेंचुरी बी सी एक्सटेंडिंग इट फ्रॉम द माउथ ऑफ द गैंजीज टू द नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न फ्रंटियर ऑफ द एम्पायर एंशियंट उत्तर पथा कंप्राइज नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ जम्बुद्वीपा उत्तरा स्टैंड फॉर नॉर्थ वाइल पाठा फॉर रोड्स देर फोर उत्तर पथा रेफर्स टू द नॉर्दर्न हाई रोड the main trade route that followed along the river ganga crossed the indo gangetic watershed ran through punjab taxila gandhara and bactria in central asia the eastern terminus of the uttar patha was tamriliptika west bengal this route became increasingly important due to increasing maritime contacts with the seaports on the eastern coast of india during mauryan rule all the country to the west and northwest of the river yamuna and extending beyond the hinduko was known in ancient times as the uttar patha i the country of the uttara patha the northern highway the people of this country organized themselves into a number of republican states centuries before the birth of christ these states were known as the janpadas some of these republican states issued at a later date the inscribed cons we can trace the janpada form of government in ancient india when the closing sections of the vedic brahmanas were being written satapta brahmana is vague but the atreya brahmanas last chapter unambiguously speaks of janpada as a political institution such references in the brahmana literature however are rare hence our conclusion is that the janpada type of states started taking shape in the late brahmana period but the chronology of these works is itself uncertain even if we accept the rather modest estimates of their antiquity the closing sections of the massive brahmanas have to be placed near 1000 bc This may be accepted as the hypothetical date for the birth of the Janpada form of government in this country. Gradually the popular institution of Janpada spread all over the country. The Bhurnakosha section of the Puranas has preserved the names of as many as 175 Janpadas. Extending from the Central Asian Janpadas of the Uttarapurus, Uttaramadras Kambojas and the Bahikas in the north to the far south and from the Savairas in Sindh and the Andaka Vrishnis in the west to Anga and Vanga in the east they covered the entire length and breadth of India it must however be borne in mind that the states included in the Bhuvnakosha lists were not all contemporary these lists in fact are very late and seem to have been compiled at a period when most of the listed states were no longer a contemporary facts the word janpada literally means people's settlements or colonies when the nomadic aryan tribes settled down in an area and developed elementary political institutions which were democratic in character their states came to be known as the janpadas thus the janpada was an aryan colony organized as a democratic state the original settlers in an area conferred their tribal name on the state in the course of history it sometimes happened that the original settlers moved out but the name conferred by them on the region survived panini testifies to this process by stating that the names of some of the janpadas did not take after the original settlers but were then current as independent names of territorial units gandhara ursa abhisra kekya and madra are examples of janpadas which had completely lost their ethnic significance and had become in all respects territorial states in which all sections of society participated in the task of government distinct from these were states like sindhu and trigarta which had no tribal associations but